jobs to go obsolete. Ten years from now, 80% of all jobs will be occupied by robots. 800 million people will lose their jobs worldwide. Five years from now, only two out of ten Indians will find work throughout the year. Where would you belong? The glorious two or the forgotten eight? The age of a forgotten generation, the era of disruption. Technology revolution, I said, caused the World War One. Second technology revolution caused the World War Number War Two. This is the third technology revolution. AI is probably the most important thing humanity has ever worked on. Artificial intelligence, and certainly the advance that we have seen just in the last one year, and certainly in the last few years. When I look back on this time compared to when I was a PhD student studying AI, it is staggering. Because what's going to happen is robots will be able to do everything better than us. I'm including, I mean, all of us. There's like something like 12% of jobs are transport. Transport will be one of the first things to go fully autonomous. I don't think we have to worry about it. I don't think it's inherent that as we create uh, super intelligence that it will necessarily always uh, have the same goals in mind that we do, you know. of artificial intelligence we already have have proved very useful. But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. The, the technologies of the fourth industrial revolution really are all inclusive and will benefit all. AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. So if you are not able to create jobs, we will be in deep problems and therefore jobs are very, very critical. We need to grow at 9 to 10 percent per annum for three decades or more to be able to create jobs for a very young population. We are passing through a window of demographic transition which rarely happens in history. Our population is very young. This is the beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> this is the beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs>
this is going to be worse than global warming. Take a look at the list of the richest companies in the world. They are mostly energy companies. The oil industry itself is a $6 trillion economy. The energy industry is one of the largest businesses in the world, which has been controlling nations, governments, policies, economies, war and peace for the past two centuries. You know that even a slight fluctuation in oil price will affect our day-to-day -day lives. The petrol price hikes and the bus fare increases. It's as simple as that. Until very recently, fossil fuels dominated the energy landscape completely. Because of three major reasons, this mighty energy empire is now going to be a part of history. This marks the human civilization's exit from the era of fossil fuels. The first reason is fracking technology, which enables deep extraction of oil at increased efficiency. This has led to the supply of oil exceeding the demand. The joke of the market for the past few years has been that the storage barrels for oil are much more expensive than the oil itself. You can just imagine the fate of oil-based economies and Gulf countries in this scenario. You might be wondering how this would affect you and me. You have to remember that the largest part of foreign remittance to India comes from Gulf countries. The fall of oil economy will leave millions of Indians completely jobless and will result in subsequent economic crisis in our country, especially South India. The second reason is global warming and climate change. It has been accepted by 97% of the environmental scientists that if carbon emission rates are not controlled by 2020, at least 2 billion people will be wiped off from Earth. In the Paris Summit of 2015, all nations collectively decided to limit the use of fossil fuels. Fueling this change, several nations including Germany, Norway, India, France, UK, Netherlands and China have taken steps to eliminate fossil fuels. In 2017, the Irish Parliament voted not to invest in fossil fuels anymore. The third reason is the rise of alternate energy sources such as solar power, hydroelectricity, thorium, wind, waves, etc. A car charged with just 8 gram of thorium can run for up to 100 years. Solar powered heavy trucks that can run non-stop for 750 km are already in market. The solar city designed by Elon Musk can produce 2 gigawatts of electricity every year. The Indian industry leaders have forecasted that 1,75,000 megawatts of electricity will be produced from alternate energy sources in the next year. Solar energy will soon be available at just 4 rupees and 40 paise per unit. You have to remember that the world's largest government funds, also known as sovereign funds of different nations like UAE, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, etc. come from oil industry alone. Now, this is going to lead to a very bad economic crisis. It will be worse than the 2008 economic depression. It is all because of disruption. Oil and automobiles are two sides of the same flipping coin. Automobile industry is one of the largest employers in the world. Disruption in automobile industry will hit the heart and soul of global middle class economy, which largely includes drivers, factory workers and engineers. One out of six people in the world work in this industry. Four disruptions are expected in the automobile industry. Automated cars, air drones, hyperloop and commercial rockets. Automated cars have already been brought to market 
by many companies. Recently, the founder and CEO of Tesla Motors, Elon Musk, openly stated that the automobile industry will go fully automated in the next 10 years, which implies that millions of jobs are at stake. Just imagine Ola and Uber going completely driverless with a network of cars communicating with each other using IoT technology. They bring you money after taxi rides in the evening. Data Zeshi, the CEO of Mercedes-Benz has predicted that owning cars and driving them would be completely obsolete by 2020. According to him, car companies are going to become bankrupt. Traditional car companies will just try the evolutionary approach and keep on building a better car, while tech companies like Tesla, Apple and Google will go for the revolutionary approach and build a computer on wheels. You may think that these automated cars may never appear on crowded Indian roads. If we tell you that the transport of future will not require roads at all, imagine a world in which roads are considered monuments. Future kids would not need driving licenses at all. In other words, owning a car would be like having a horse. Let's look at air drones. Autonomous air drones launched in Dubai can fly at a top speed of 160 km per hour and have been shown to be completely safe. Drones are expected to go mainstream very soon. Hyperloop, expected to be launched in Dubai, has already completed its test run. It can take 2,000 passengers from Dubai to Abu Dhabi in just 12 minutes. Imagine being able to travel for work to USA and returning to your home in India same day in just 3 hours. The beauty of all this is that it will cost only 3,000 rupees. More than 10 companies around the world have already come up with commercial rockets. SpaceX, launched by Tesla, can travel at a top speed of 30,000 km per hour. The travel time to anywhere on Earth would be less than 30 minutes. In a few years, space travel and colonization of outer planets will be well within a common man's reach. The way we travel will be redefined, redesigned and rediscovered. Not in the future, but in the very present. A man's reach would exceed his imagination. Sky is no longer the limit, literally and metaphorically. But fancy words apart, only one reality would stare at us. Jobs. Technology disruption in manufacturing and supply chain will displace millions of jobs in the years to come. Automation is expected to increase at least six times by 2020. Two years ago, Foxconn, the largest supplier of Apple and Samsung in communist China, replaced 60,000 workers by robots in a single day. Application of 3D printing and robotics have already become realities. Eight years ago, Dr. Anthony Atala demonstrated 3D printing of a kidney in a TED talk. Today, we have 3D printed organs available for transplantation. You might be already familiar with e-commerce platforms such as Flipkart and Amazon that directly connect manufacturers to the end users. Air drones, which will deliver packages to the destined delivery address, will further revolutionize supply chain management. 5.5 million jobs will perish due to technological advancements in e-commerce as recently stated by the economist Brian Shaitkin. Banking is expected to undergo major disruption and the traditional banking system may altogether disappear very soon. According to Bill Gates, banks are no longer necessary, but banking is. Digital banking, blockchain technology and cryptocurrency will completely reinvent the way in which money is handled by people. Many major banks have already started replacing human resources with automation and many more are expected to follow this year. According to Vikram Pandit, the former CEO of Citigroup, the result would be that 
one out of every three banking employees will lose their jobs due to disruption. We have already advanced into an era in which supercomputers are much better than humans in diagnosing diseases. Manipal Hospital in Karnataka recently launched IBM Watson enabled treatment for cancer patients. IBM Watson is a supercomputer that has been proven to be much better than an average nurse in diagnosing diseases like cancer even in the very very early stages. Handheld devices analyzing your blood, biomarkers and brain waves have already stepped out of science fiction. A fine example would be the Qualcomm X recorder. This will enable even complicated diagnostic tests to be performed on your phone. Up to 54 biomarkers can be analyzed and interpreted, making diagnosis more easier and more accessible than ever. With the advancements in genomics moving forward at such a fast pace, personalized medicines, perpetual happiness and reversal of aging may soon become realities. Lifespan is expected to increase over 100 years. Future humans will be immortal beings who are in their 20s forever. This will drastically change the entire dynamics of job prospects in the medical arena. 75% of patients will be depending on digital devices alone for their treatment. As per the study conducted by Oxford Martin School, even the procedures done by American physicians and surgeons can be automated by up to 40%. New business models and strategies are emerging and new companies are stepping in to take their place in the landscape. With skill requirements changing drastically, healthcare professionals will now face huge challenges. Perhaps the most severely affected in this sudden wave of automation would be the IT industry. Massive replacement of men with machines has already begun in most of the companies. It has been estimated that 60% of the jobs in IT sector are at stake. 6 lakh people may lose their jobs in the next 3 years alone. Hiring will come to a standstill, especially for entry-level jobs. Now, this will leave millions of young men and women totally unemployed. The IT industry and oil-based economies that once filled young Indian job aspirations will no longer exist. After analyzing a few major industries, it's pretty evident that massive unemployment in millions is a reality and that the fall of oil will result in great economic depression. Unlike earlier times, India will no longer be an exception to this ongoing global change. Either we accept the change and change ourselves or change will forever wipe out the great Indian dream. But the story is not over yet. What I've heard just now is just the tip of an iceberg. A giant tsunami is on its way and will reach our shores in the next 10 years. It's our moral responsibility to inform you that as per the World Development Report of 2016, at least 70% of all jobs existing in India and 80% of all jobs globally will be automated before 2030. This will leave half a billion population jobless. This will leave half a billion human dreams forgotten. This will leave you and me with no identity. This is worse than global warming. Dear friend, is your job safe? Will you survive the fourth industrial revolution? Will your education save you in this disruptive era? What skills will guarantee you a future? Are we equipping ourselves for what? Are we equipping our children for what? Jai Hind! Mission 3G 
Build India to Serve the World.